Okay, so now we're moving on to learning target learning target 1.10. I know the nuclear force holds the nucleus together. So an atom, we know, um, is made up of protons in the middle with some neutrons and some electrons. So here's a picture of a helium atom, helium-4. And we know that there's a lot of forces happening in here. For one, we know that there's this thing called the electrostatic force, which is the force between charges. We know that there's a force between this positive proton and the negative electron, and they're trying to come towards each other. They're trying to come towards each other because they like each other, because they're opposites. Meanwhile, there is a force right here between these two positive charges, a repulsion force. They're trying to push each other away. Because they are like charges, and like charges repel. Okay? So a question you might ask yourself is, why does an atom stick together? Why doesn't it break apart due to this force? Okay? Also, these atoms are smashing into each other. Why don't they break apart when they hit each other? When, when this atom takes off this way and collides with another atom in a big explosion, why isn't there this huge explosion that causes the atom to fall apart into its protons and neutrons and electrons. Why does it get held together? Well, be, the answer is the nuclear force. This is a force that is one of the strongest forces in the universe. It's stronger than the force that holds you down to the earth, and it's stronger than the force that these atoms feel against each other. It's called the nuclear force. It is the force that holds protons and neutrons together in the nucleus. So let's put that definition right here. The force that holds protons and neutrons together in the nucleus. So that is a nuclear force. It is a force that is squeezing this atom together, making sure that it stays stuck together. Okay, Under rare circumstances, we're able to overcome this nuclear force and actually get some energy out of it, and that's what we do in nuclear reactors and the such. But this force has an incredible amount of energy, and it's what holds all atoms in the universe together. So our individual example at the bottom asks um, for you to consider the following. In a meeting you have with Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle, Obama asks you to explain why the nuclei, which is the plural form of nucleus, of atoms do not separate and explode. I would like you to use one to two complete sentences to explain your thinking. Pause the video here and then check your answer with mine. So an acceptable answer for this question would be, Mr. President, let me capitalize President, The nuclei of atoms is able to stay together because of the nuclear force. I would go on to add, since our president is not a chemist and I am taking chemistry, that the nuclear force... is the force that holds protons and neutrons together in the nucleus of an atom. That is what I would say.